Build a command line tool with Python standard library arc parse module. Why would you need that? Well, because once you start needing switches and flags and values in the command line, you can't really do that without a framework. Let's see how we can put together all of those things and transform a simple script into a powerful command line tool. So I have my text editor open here and we're going to see how these very simple uh, Python script that is using sys.argv to uh, handle arguments on the command line tool can be converted over to using arg parse. So uh, first let's try and see how this is uh, working right now. It's a simple script that calculates the, the size of a file. So if uh, I have a size.py here, which is this file, and then I have a video which I'm going to use to calculate the file and test, test the script out. So if I do uh, Python 3 size.py video, then I should get 25 megabytes, which is kind of like what this is, uh, the size of this file. So uh, I'm going to close this out and we're going to transform these to use a framework and we'll see why that is important and how we can, we can quickly with just a few lines can convert this into a more powerful, featureful uh, Python script that can, a command line tool that can grow and be better and have more options. I'm going to close these and then I'm going to stop using sys.argv and I'm going to, uh, first thing I'm going to do is going to import, I'm going to import arc parse. So arc parse is the uh, module from Python. You don't need to install any dependencies that will allow you to create a more featureful um, command line tool. Next is uh, we're going to, we're going to create a, a function. We're going to call it main. This is not going to take any arguments whatsoever. And we're going to define our parser. So parser, the parser instance is going to come from arc parse. And then we're going to say argument parser over here. And we're going to call that, we're going to, we're going to call that with, um, with the parents. And then that parser instance on line 10 is going to um, allow us to create our command line tool or define it rather. So I'm going to say parser that at argument, we're going to add our first and only argument, which is that, um, which is that uh, path that we're going to pass on the, on the terminal. So we're going to name it path. That's the first thing you need to do. And optionally you can, you can pass in uh, a help menu. So in this case, uh, we want to say file path to calculate the size. Okay. And uh, next we're going to, we're going to say, we're going to define our object, which is called args and args is parser that parse args. What you're doing here with this line 12 over here is that you are telling uh, argument parser, arg parse, you're telling it to look at the arguments on the command line and then uh, parse them and then associate those values, those items to what you've um, defined here on line 11. In this case, it's just a single argument, which is called path. Um, next, the main function is going to be in charge of calling calculate. So calculate is here a function that is doing all of the work. So that's nice because we're kind of like separating the concerns here and we're going to uh, return calculate and then we're going to pass in args.path. So what is happening here? Why am I using args.path? Well, because uh, this uh, string here is what the attribute is going to be on the args object here. So first you start, let's just walk this uh, very quickly. So start on line 10 with the argument parser instance. That argument parser instance becomes the parser and then that gets an argument called path. So you're, you're, you're constructing, you're, bu you're building your command line tool as an object and then that becomes um, the arcs, the, the, the arcs are going to be the parse arcs. So anything on the command line is going to be associated with this instance of parser. And then those parsed arguments are going to be part of arcs. So now anything that you've defined in this case with the find path becomes an attribute right here. So if this was some, some other name, that other name would be here as part uh, of this argument. So down below here, the only thing we need to do, we no, no longer need to do anything with sys.argv. 
we can just call uh, main in this way. So if we do it this way, then we effectively have a full command line tool with a help menu, which you will see uh, next. So uh, we're going to open up a, a terminal and we're gonna make it uh, nice. And then you can see here that I've already tested out uh, size.py, it's, it's working fine, but we are going to now run Python 3 size.py without any arguments and see what happens. And we are getting a help menu for free. We have uh, usage size of pi. We have, with it's telling us that optionally you can pass a dash h. That's uh, done for free. You don't need to do anything special for that. And then it tells you that there's an error. The following arguments are required. So you need to pass in a path. So let's see the help menu before we try it out. So Python three size dot pi dash h. And we get this uh, very nice uh, help menu all formatted uh, for us. So you can say, you can see usage, positional arguments. So this is a positional argument because there's, it's not an option that takes, takes a value, right? We are not passing dash dash path, something else. This is just a positional argument. If it's present in that specific position, it will become the file path to calculate the size. And as you remember, file path to calculate the size it's what the help we added here uh, on, line, on line 11 in the, uh, in the main function. And then optional arguments, you have dash h, which is an alias to dash dash help. Show this help message and exit. So that's also super useful because a user that might be used to using dash dash help can also have the same behavior. So this is handling an error condition if you're not passing any arguments, right? So if you're not doing anything here, then you'll get an error. It will explain nicely that, hey, you need, you need to pass an, an argument. It is actually required. And if you do video that MP4, which is the, the path to this file that we want, uh, everything should just work. So very quickly with argument parser, uh, or arc parse, actually the, the module from Python. You don't need to install anything. Uh, it comes with Python. Uh, you, you are allowed to build all kinds of different uh, arguments and, and, and options. And you can even say, you know, multiple options or define if you're, if for example, an argument uh, has to be an integer, you can say, hey, this is an integer. Otherwise uh, you have to error out um, and, um, this is all handling all of these errors and reporting back to the user. So you can see here only uh, adding main, the main function here in on line 16, then it calls uh, main, which has the argument parsing helpers and just uh, what it's four four lines of extra code. And then you have a more featureful command line tool that you can grow.